the light of Christ. Thanks be to God. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. God of life, bless this candle that burns in witness to the resurrection of Jesus. May his resurrection fill our hearts with faith, hope, and love. And may we live his resurrected life within our homes, communities, and world. We ask this through Christ our Lord, who is the light that cannot be extinguished by the darkness. Thanks be to God. Sisters and brothers in Christ, beloved children of God, grace, mercy, and peace be with you all. Let us pray. O God, you are the creator of the world, the liberator of your people, and the wisdom of the earth. By the resurrection of Jesus, free us from our fears, restore us in your image, and ignite us with your light. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Jesus, our Lord, has been raised from the dead and will bring us one day to new life with him and all who have gone before us. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake. 
for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised as he said. Come see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear friends, on this Easter day, I greet you in the name of Jesus, our risen Lord and Savior. So it was back in early February that I first began thinking about Easter and making plans. And little did I know at that time how different Easter would be this year. Different not just in terms of the church, but different in terms of family life. For Chris and I, along with the festive Easter worship The highlight also is that our whole family gathers together on Easter Day and we share lots of food and Easter baskets and, of course, our favorite tradition, our annual family Easter egg hunt with all the grandkids. And we are missing those things this year. And I know that you, too, are missing a number of your family traditions. This is a different kind of Easter. And won't it be great when we can be back together again? In John's Gospel, we are told that on Easter Day, actually it was Easter evening, that the disciples were shut up together in a house. And so this Easter, we're kind of like those disciples. We are not out and about. We are pretty hunkered down and isolated in our homes. But the gospel goes on to say that in that house that they were shut up in, Jesus showed up there. All of a sudden, he appeared there with them. And he said to them, Peace be with you. Well, the risen Jesus has shown up in your house or wherever you may be, the risen Jesus has shown up to be with you. And he is saying to each of you, peace be with you. Take a moment and speak those words. If you're alone in your house or alone wherever you are, just speak them out loud. Peace be with you. They are the words of Jesus, the Easter words. If you are in your home and only your pet or your pets are with you, speak it to your pets. Peace be with you. And if your pet answers and also with you, please let me know. And if you are gathered with a few other people in your home, Each of you speak those words to one another, the words of Jesus, the Easter words. Peace 
be with you. Just as Jesus showed up on Easter in the house where the disciples were, so Jesus has shown up at your house, wherever you are. Jesus is there. Jesus is with you because Jesus is in you. Easter is different this year, and we celebrate it differently. But let us remember the good news that even though we celebrate Easter differently, the good news of Easter is ever the same. That those of us who trust and believe in the resurrection of Jesus know that love is greater than hate. That light cannot be extinguished by the darkness. That grace is greater than sin and that life is triumphant over death. Even though Easter is different this year, let us remember that the good news of Easter is ever the same. The good news that our beloved deceased are in God's safe keeping. The good news that in God's heaven, broken hearts are mended. Paralyzed limbs can move freely again. Blind eyes see, deaf ears hear, and tears, all tears, are wiped away forever. Easter is different this year, but let us remember that the good news of Easter is ever the same. The good news that Easter is not locked in history. Easter is ever now and ever present. Jesus continues to be raised up in us and through us as we love one another. Listen to what the Apostle John says. By this we know we have passed from death into life because we love one another. You see, every act of love is Easter, here and now. We are just two days past Good Friday. And in any, many ways, our world seems to be a Good Friday world. A new illness, COVID-19, brings sickness and suffering, death and grief. This seems so much to be a Good Friday world. Darkness resists the light. Too many hearts are filled with hate and evil persistently asserts itself this seems to be a good friday world but nevertheless nevertheless alleluia jesus is risen and jesus is with us and jesus is in us and jesus is acting through us in this world nevertheless it is such a good Easter word. Nevertheless, in this world where Good Friday still casts a shadow, we are nevertheless people. Despite what is happening in our state, our country, our world that has upended and rearranged everything about life, we are nevertheless people. In this Good Friday world, nevertheless, we keep loving. Nevertheless, we keep washing with mercy. Nevertheless, we keep feeding with grace. Nevertheless, we keep forgiving. Nevertheless, we keep lifting up the fallen, and nevertheless, we keep binding the wounded. Nevertheless, we keep loving each other, and we sacrifice ourselves for love's sake. As Jesus 
sacrificed so that we might know God's love ourselves. Easter is different this year. But nevertheless, Alleluia, Christ is risen. Alleluia, He is risen indeed. So on behalf of all of the people here at Trinity, all of the nevertheless people here at Trinity, I wish you a blessed and a happy Easter. God bless all of you. Amen. I invite you to join in the confession of faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He has ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father and will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Living in the promise of Christ's resurrection, let us pray for the church, the world, and all of creation. Awaken the church that we may boldly proclaim the new life we celebrate on this resurrection day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Raise up leaders who will do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Deepen our reverence for the earth and all its creatures, that we may marvel at your works and rejoice at each new day you give us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Be known to us as we eat the bread of mercy and drink the cup of compassion, that we may live as the risen body of Christ in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick and hospitalized, for those undergoing treatments, those in rehabilitation, for those who struggle with mental illness and addiction, for those who live with chronic pain, those who are growing frail, for those who carry the heavy burden of sorrow upon their hearts, and for those who will die on this day. We commend all of these into your hands, O God. Hold them firmly with your love. Give to them your help. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our bishops, Elizabeth and Michael, and for all bishops of the church. Fill them with the peace of the risen Lord and keep them in good health. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear us according to your steadfast love, O God, and in your great compassion, bring us to resurrection and new birth in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray. Blessed are you, O God, ruler of heaven and earth, Day by day you shower us with blessings. As you have raised us to new life in Jesus, give us glad and generous hearts, ready to praise you and to respond to those in need. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, O God of the universe. Your mercy is everlasting, and your faithfulness endures from age to age. Praise to you for creating the heavens and the earth. Praise to you for saving the earth through the waters of the flood. Praise to you for bringing the Israelites safely through the sea. Praise to you for leading your people through the wilderness to the land of milk and honey. Praise to you for the words and deeds of Jesus, your anointed one. Praise to you for the death and resurrection of Christ. Praise to you for your spirit poured out on all nations. On the night before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Do this in memory of me. When the supper was ended, Jesus took the cup. Again, Father, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all people so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. With this bread and cup, we remember our Lord's Passover from death to life as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us and on these gifts of bread and wine. Bless this feast. Grace our table with your presence. Reveal yourself to us in the breaking of the bread. Raise us up as the body of Christ in the world. Breathe new life into us. Send us forth, burning with justice, peace, and love. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Together we pray as our Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Amen.
Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Prince of Peace, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Bread of Life, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Amen. The body of Christ, amen. The blood of Christ, amen. Let us pray. Life-giving God, we give you thanks for nourishing us with the bread of heaven and the wine of love. Jesus, our risen Savior. As we live in the world, guard us from the power of evil. Keep us in unity with all your people. And by your Spirit, move us to testify to your grace in our words and actions. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Every weekend we pray for three of our parish families. Loving God, bless our families and fill our homes with respect, joy, laughter, and prayer. Especially send your blessing upon Don and Sandy, Bill and Connie, Deloy and Yvonne, and their families. Protect them guide them, and deepen their love for you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. At the end of all services here at Trinity, during the week and on weekends, we always offer this prayer in response to the coronavirus. O saving Lord Jesus, hear our pleas as we come before you to pray for deliverance and protection from the coronavirus. Wrap your arms of love around our first responders, our health care workers, all who are sick and suffering, and all who face this pandemic alone without friends and family. Give us each the determination to do all we can to flatten the curve. Let your holy angels stand guard and watch above us, below us, on a, and on each side of us. Especially put a shield of protection around all our precious children. Give insight and skill to those working to develop medicines and the vaccine that we need. We commend ourselves, our community, our country, and our world into your hands. Lord, we love you and adore you. Amen. The Lord be with you. Almighty God, who raised our Lord Jesus to life, lift you up and restore you to wholeness. Amen. Christ, the morning star who never sets, scatter the shadows and fill you with light. Amen. God, the Holy Spirit, who renews the whole earth, refresh you in the gift of love this day and always. Amen.
And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. You are the body of Christ, raised up for the world. Share the good news. Thanks be to God.